Hello friends and my students and lecturers all who are watching this video welcome to you all to my channel and uh, this is my first video about uh, ETAPS 2015 and a tutorial to learn how to design a building using ETAPS 2015 first we will see how to uh, make a structure with the simple steps using Indian standard codes and for the and many of us don't know how to use ETAPS 2015 using uh, Indian codes Indian standards and uh, how to make the settings maybe few of you knowing already this so let's see our first tutorial so I have downloaded this ETAPS 2015 version uh, from a blog that is I am civil engineer blog and in this blog going to the softwares or downloads you can find uh, this software where you can find a crack for it or uh, a patch for it and I have found this uh, 2015 version but now this is 2016 so the software isn't working so this is a critical uh, we have to be get a patch for 2016 uh, 2016 year for the ETAPS 2015 but uh, we don't have that one so what you do many of uh, our students and uh, lecturers are uh, scratching their heads uh, uh, how to how to deal with this problem because uh, when when i am going to start ETAPS 2015 and it is not starting because the date is 2000, 2016 now so it's not starting so let's see see what is happening what is showing it's showing a message uh, that it will not start because something has got expired I think the standby alone key one key will be there some with ETAPS 2015 which is uh, getting it and uh, showing it as uh, it cannot start because of that so I am trying to start it but it is showing that unable to find the license or the license uh, network license is not available so this error is going to occur when you are starting ETAPS 2015 so I am showing you how to resolve this error so you just click OK and go to the change date settings if you are using a 2000 ok windows 7 then it's here then go to change date and time and change this year to just 2015 here then you will press ok then the date is same time is same everything is same just the year is 2015 and now now you go to etabs again 2015 and you can see that it will open now so from now this is the first resolve you have to resolve uh, after downloading to the etabs 2015 i think uh, new version 15.2.2 has came uh, you can download that also so this is the first page you will see with the uh, new latest news of uh, and a uh, new latest update products so 15.2.2 is a new version of ETAPS have came and you can see the latest news here all related to ETAPS or whatever the work going on throughout the world so they are giving, giving to give, going to give you some journals and uh, readings you can read over here and you can find a few resources or tech tips on the watch and learn videos here and manuals here so these are all also available on YouTube uh, CSI okay CSI channel that is uh, computers and structures channel so you can you can go to open existing model if you are already have designed something uh, we, are, we are going to learn how to design simply simply a uh, one story just I just want to show one story or two story building uh, to just how to model a new building inside 
ETAPS 2015. So we are going to use uh, Indian code. So user saved code uh, is already present. I have saved in uh, Indian codes metric SI units. So again, if you are not set this, go to use built in settings use built-in settings in that display units as you select it as SI units and you you select the steel section code as Indian code here and then again the steel design code as IS 800 2007 which is Indian code for steel design uh, steel building design and concrete uh, design code as IS 456 uh, 2000 for concrete building design and these are the uh, pre preparing things required to design a building in ETABS uh, using Indian codes. So, all these Indian codes and metric units are selected, then press OK. Then, this pop up will appear. In this pop up, you will get a new model quick template. So, you can create a new model or you can custom the grid lines. So, Using the grid line, you can uh, you can take how many grid lines in uh, x direction, how many grid lines in y direction. So uh, number of uh, grid lines in x direction, let us take it as three and take it as two, and it is a one bay building. Uh, three, okay, three bay building, a two bay building with a one bay in y side. So let's uh, keep it as a uh, six meter six meters and a number of floors as two floors and a three meter height okay base story height is also let it be three meter we can select uh, any of the buildings here we are taking grid only so we will take our sections by ourselves we are not designing a flat not designing any flat slabs or anything so uh, we are going for grid only Press OK, we'll get the grids. So, this is our building. So, it's looking so um, it's not visible clearly. If you, if you want to, okay, go to the graphics color. So the display will be visible clearly with a black background if it is black background then so working is nice on this background so now our building is visible quite visible right and here you can close this one it is it is not required now and first we have to start with defining our material properties Go to define and material properties. So we, we already have three material properties. We cannot delete these because these are uh, okay. These are it apps are predefined. So we have to define a new material. Add new material. Go to the Indian material. Then we are going to design a concrete building. Just I am taking randomly selected values for uh, columns and beams so I am adding M30 concrete for columns and these are the values of uh, M30 concrete ok uh, 27 MPA is a uh, value of M30 concrete is taken as a uh, elasticity we can change it to 30,000 MPA uh, if you if, uh, you, sh if you are sure that your Concrete is going to give 30 MPA uh, exactly in 20 days. So this is uh, for factor of taking factor of safety because uh, inside uh, that may not be getting the same concrete within the same grade. So M30 concrete is uh, predefined as 27,000 uh, MPA nearly, and you can modify the all the if you are using a lightweight concrete and all the things, so these are the values. So we'll check these values later. So just you want to add M30 concrete. Just so it is a first class. So we do not will not go in deeper in it apps. Just we'll see up whatever the things required just to design our building. So I'll take a new another new material with M25 for beams and slabs. I will take. Uh, 
and this is added the new again new material you have to add for rebars steel rebars so uh, Indian in that you go to rebar in rebar you have uh, four kinds of rebars we will use HYSD 500 which is commonly used in India nowadays so we will use this one and 550 is also present uh, few steel companies are providing that also uh, let, let us see okay so these one all 20,000 MPA all these things are provided with it you can change it whatever required let's start with it press ok to finish this so this is the first tutorial where we, ca we can create a building model inside in ETABS 2015 and how to start ETABS we have seen in this first tutorial thank you for watching subscribe if you have not subscribed and uh, click on this playlist of tutorial to uh, see different types uh, different kinds of videos I am showing about the uh, uh, structures and you can go to the playlist of uh, uh, civil engineering works which I have did in being on site for two years in within Aparna constructions so uh, these are all my videos thank you for watching Shabakhair good night good evening greetings bye bye